Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and I did want to do a short introduction today because I've always done it, and if I don't do this, I don't see you out there. And today I'm going to do a little bit of a color tutorial because a lot of you wanted that. And if you don't want it, I'll tell you the number to skip to so that you can skip the color tutorial and go right to the soap making. And I'm making a rainbow raspberry soap today, and I've skipped some of the colors in the rainbow just because I thought it would look a little bit better, or at least what I'm picturing in my brain, and I talk a little bit about that in the color tutorial that follows, so I hope you enjoy this. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, back to do a little bit of a color tutorial. If you don't like these tutorials, don't care for them, I'll look ahead and tell you what number on your screen, what time unit you should go to to skip all this. Well, it is a rainbow colored um, soap. So that's why I have this whole thing showing here. But I am going to exclude a couple colors by choice because I have an idea in my head like that I can picture. That's an advantage I have as I tend to picture these things before I even plan them. But I want more of um, a light raspberry color. So I have white, a little red, a little purple. It'll look a little bit better than that, but in the soap. But basically I'm going for this, maybe a little lighter. And that's going to be my base. Something that's going to bind all the colors together. And then I'm going to have some orange in small doses. I'm going to add these other brighter colors. I'm going to have a pink, first time I'm going to be using my really red mica from Nurture Soap Supply, I've heard a lot of good things about that. So, so far nothing jarring. I'm going to exclude yellow, I just can't picture yellow in this particular soap, so I'm not going to include that one. Some green, some pastel green. So I didn't want that jolt of a strong green without any white to it. So that's why I'm using the pastel. And the same thing with the blue. That's what I'm really shooting for. Now, why does this work? Because it's, um, you know, usually you use every color under the sun, you have rainbow. Um, and rainbow is okay. It just tends to work, especially if you put them in the rainbow color order. Um, I'm excluding the yellow just because um, I think it was just a matter of choice. I didn't want to have that yellow and sometimes you can use your color wheel, cover over a particular color and see if uh, the remaining colors still work for you. Um, I wanted it, I guess, more in the raspberry tones and that yellow would just kind of distract from it. There is one other color that I'm going to use and it's going to be a uh, deeper purple. Um, it's going to be have some a little bit of black in there, and this is um, Am I trying to hit this exactly? I know it's really hard because the soap itself Will change the colors of what I'm going for so as long as I kind of stick to this I won't be disappointed and um, That's just some of the things going through my head as I plan out a soap and Just show you what I do ahead of time as I get my palette ready for um, the color tutorial so I don't have to bore you with mixing them all but let's get to the soap okay I've just em emulsified my soap mixture and I'm ready to do the colors. I added my fragrance just a second ago. I'm not worried about black raspberry vanilla because it always behaves itself. So let me get the colors going. I'm not using a lot of different colors because I really want streaks of color in the soap. And my darkest one in particular is going to have the least amount. 
in the pork. That's the color I wanted, but I want a little lighter. deeper color than the base so it will show up. And that's the black or dark purple. That's all over my floor. That's blue with a little bit of white. My orange and the light green, which I think is a little too light, so I think I'm gonna add a, add a little more green to that. That's better. So that's good. That's a raspberry sherbet color if I've ever seen one. Orange. There's the green and my purple, blue, and deeper raspberry. Let's show you what I'm going to do sort of in the pot swirl first of all. And let's add the blue. Almost all of it, just keeping a little bit for the top. The green. And the orange. And this is a little different than I was planning already, just because that darkest purple didn't turn out as dark as I wanted. I was going to use that to accentuate between the colors in the pot, but I decided not to. I think it'd be better if I just swirl. And I'm just making a tighter and tighter ring around there. Once around the edge. And then let's pour this thing. I'm trying to beat the clock of the battery flashing at me. Okay. And I'm going to use this deeper raspberry as a drop swirl. Let's go to a color that's similar to that one. Now I'm going in the order of the rainbow as much as possible. So some of the colors are pastel and some of the colors are more pure. And that's because um, I wanted a little bit of variance there to sort of be like accents. If everything's the same value, they just blend in too much. So value means just how dark or light the color is. If you looked at a color chart in black and white, you'd notice that some colors just look darker and that means they have a darker value. swirling on top. There! I think I got this all in before the battery 
ran out. So it is a challenge for me to work out these camera angles and everything just because the lighting is so much different than it was before and um, I used to tape in my kitchen and uh, there was more space to put uh, room between the camera and what I'm doing. So um, I am working on it and uh, I will work it out and it will be fine. But in the meantime, thanks for being patient with me. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soak and this is Rainbow Raspberry and we'll see you again soon. Bye! So you might remember in an earlier video that we had these tremendous holes in the earth behind our house and here's a video of them filling up those huge holes with gobs and gobs of cement and I thought it was funny that I'm pouring soap in this video and here I'm showing you pouring of cement two quite different things but it was interesting to see how much cement went in these holes two full cement trucks came back here to um, fill it up actually the hoses were back there and um, it's amazing to see these things fill up but as they say these um, pillars for the deck are not going to go anywhere not with that much concrete supporting them. Here's Warren making the pour look a little nicer. Um, he's been at it for years, he said. And this is what they put on top of the cement. Um, this is looking out of the window that we will be able to walk out of. But thanks again for putting up with all the noise and no videos and all that. I'm kind of happy that um, this has been going on, but I've missed soaping and making videos. That's looking up the canyon to the house and hopefully you'll tune in and see the next video that will hopefully come about real soon. Take care.